So we're gonna do this right here, right now, music tag. I was tagged by, um, no one. <laughs> So there's this thing going around the internet called music tag and since I like music and I like tagging people, I'm going to do this questionnaire thing. Favorite band slash musician at the moment? We're not going to like list a hundred thousand of them. So in order at the moment, I'd have to say Joel Favier, he is an amazing singer, songwriter, he's absolute talent, he's amazing. Tiger's Jaw. And if we're going to get into some really heavy stuff that I'm listening to currently, I'd have to say Three Crowns, which is also my Twitter reference, Twitter at name. Check them out. One band that you always come back to. I listen to Alisana, and I don't care if they're scene or emo or whatever you want to call them. I've been listening to them since I was like 10 years old. Um, I own like every album embarrassing but I don't care I love them I've been listening to them for since forever and uh, I love them what is our your favorite song oh my gosh. I don't know how many we can pick uh, sleepwalking by Boom the horizon overdrive by Joel Favier plane versus tank versus submarine by Tiger's jaw fiction by the XX and over and over by neck deep I suggest you check them out if you like pop punk and stuff you know very good band. Most embarrassing song on your iTunes or Spotify? I'm pretty sure I have a little bit of T-Pain up on this iTunes. I do have some Nicki Minaj on this iTunes list. Pretty Posy, I have like every single Skrillex thing ever released up on here. Definitely do have both Ask Alexandra album. Definitely have Falling in Reverse on here. These are some pretty embarrassing things, so I'm not going to list them all. Top 5 played songs on your iTunes slash Spotify. Probably Derailed by Joyce Manor. Anything off the Tiger's Jaw album. Any song off Wolf, because that album is straight amazingness. I've been listening to it, like, this entire week, past week, on repeat. Favorite concert you've attended? Oh my gosh, this is probably one of the worst questions ever, because I can't even count how many concerts I've been to. It's a lot. It's probably too many. But honestly, I'm gonna say the Collide with the Sky Tour with Pierce the Veil and Sleeping with Sirens and Tonight Alive in Hands Like Houses. That was probably hands down the best show I've ever been to. I mean, not just because the music was really, really good. Pierce the Veil always nailed it. Seen them like five times. They were perfect. They put on a great show. It was really great. Got to meet some cool people. And yeah, that was just probably one of the best shows I've been to ever. Most underrated musician in your opinion? Joel Favier. <laughs> he is literally underrated. Beautiful voice. Amazing songwriting skills. Gotta check him out. For sure. Favorite quote or song lyric? I have a lot of those, but I would have to say it's a song called Stay Inspired by We Came As Romans. The song lyric is, there are greater rewards in stepping outside of your own comfort that there are in never breaking down the walls you've built. That lyric is like one of the best lyrics I've ever read and sang and heard. It was just, it's an amazing song, they're an amazing band, they're really inspirational in my opinion. One of my favorite bands, hands down. I love them. Favorite album. Favorite albums are going to be Understanding What We've Grown To Be by We Came As Romans and The Light With The Sky is also a very, very good album. Okay. Has your music taste changed over time? If so, how? I would say yes, because ever since I was a little girl, I have been listening to like soul and like, like classic rock and even country if that. I'd say like probably around when I was like six years old. My dad brought home American Idiot um, by Green Day, and I, my mom said I couldn't listen to it because it was too inappropriate, but I really, really, really wanted to listen to it because I just thought the whole album cover was really cool and all that. I want to listen to that. So I like got my like massive 90s CD player and like my like massive headphones and I was like, I'm going to listen to this album. So I listened to it 
and I listened to every song, and I slept to it, and I was, I dug that album so much. But when I was like six to like ten, they were my fave band. I loved Green Day a lot. <laughs> so they're probably the first band that I got introduced to as far as like punk and like rock and like all that heavy stuff, I guess. And then when I was like, 11 years old or so, I like got into heavier bands like of Mice and Men, Attack Attack. I hope you guys enjoyed my music tag that I did for you. I thought it was a lot of fun. I love talking about music. I love talking about all my favorite types of songs and albums and genres and stuff. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below telling me your favorite bands and songs. And if you want to, please do make a video response to this with your music tag. Uh, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and, or night or wherever the heck you are. Have an amazing life. Be sure to listen to some great tunes. And if you guys have any music suggestions, be sure to tell me on Twitter or on Tumblr because I love getting new music suggestions. I love listening to new artists and bands.